Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Okay, I'm gonna try to be cool through this one. We'll see how it goes. So, um, if you've been here before, thank you guys. I appreciate you more than you even know. If you all are new, <laughs> I sat before you in shock and awe. Once again, like the second time within the last couple weeks, um, I still was on cloud nine from just receiving happy mail from Jennifer and her sweet precious daughter. And then today happened. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so hello, if you're new, nice to meet you. How y'all doing? Um, okay, so didn't know if you guys knew this. <laughs> um, sweet, wonderful, amazing, spectacular, fantastic, fantastic, I mean, I, all the good things. Sweet beautiful Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. <coughs> um, it is so awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm once again speechless. I don't even... <sighs> okay, so she's doing a thing. I feel like y'all probably know this at this point. If you don't, I'll explain it to you, but I'm pretty sure whoever's watching this probably knows. Um, she's doing a really, really sweet thing for me. Um, I won't tell you what that is. You'll have to go watch her video. How's that? So, um, okay. <laughs> so she's just, yeah, she's doing a really, really sweet thing. And, um, I said I won't tell you guys what it is. I'll link the video below. And if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. However, I feel like you've, you've probably all seen it. You know what I mean? Um, so I have a lot of comments under my happy mail video from her and they are all inspirational, amazing comments. There are some really funny ones. <laughs> um, I may or may not have like snorted while laughing a couple times. <laughs> I needed that. Um, there's some that are my favorite quotes. There are several that are Winnie the Pooh. Just, um, this sets in front of me every time I do my videos. You probably can't read it. Um, but it says, always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Uh, Winnie the Pooh has always been one of my very favorite things. Alice in Wonderland, obviously, but Winnie the Pooh is just, for um, a lot of reasons I haven't shared on here, but he's very, very special to my heart <clears throat> since before I could ever remember. Um, okay. There are some Bob Marley quotes, which I'm all about. <laughs> um, I had a fellow dreadhead comment. Um, she doesn't have them now, but, you know, trade head for life. <laughs> so we're friends just through that, I feel like. Um, I had so many amazing scriptures. Um, I mean, I, and they're still coming in. Every time I look, there's like more comments and more comments. And I just need you all to know how much I needed those today or just in general but especially today. So I wasn't going to talk all about all of this. Um, I kind of, well, I have discussed on here before that every now and then I'll make a video, just like a diary entry. And I'll just like blather all of my <laughs> issues and things that are going on. And then I delete the video. I'll watch it back. It's very therapeutic. And I delete the video. And I don't post it. And every now and then I'll post, you know, a health update. Um, they're relatively vague, but you know. Um, so last night, um, we just now got home 
from where I go to get my treatments. Um, <clears throat> yesterday was the day that I was scheduled to have my scope. Um, just in case you are one of the new people, hello again. Um, I have a very rare disease. I am in the middle of a drug trial for the disease. Um, I had six months where I didn't know if I was on medication or placebo. And then I was supposed to have a scope yesterday. And then next week, I for sure get drug. Um, I'm very sick. I come on air and I smile and all of those things a lot. And once again, I've talked about this because I'm talking about yarn and yarn makes me happy. And so this is one place that I feel semi-normal because when I'm done here, I don't do a lot. Um, I'm not at all my old self and I don't like it. It's like, I'm sure you can tell my voice is really scratchy and weird. That's just my throat not liking me, my body not liking me. Um, <clears throat> I clear my throat a lot. Um, okay, so anyway, I'll just say it, I guess. Yesterday I was supposed to go get my scope. I didn't have it. For things that were completely out of my control, that I wasn't told. Um, I don't know why I wasn't told. There was no reason I shouldn't have been informed, but I wasn't. And so they had my IV in. They were like, I mean, I was fixing to have my scope. Like, I mean, I was ready. The doctor was there. Like, I mean, I was ready. And they're like, we're not going to do it. And, um, I kind of lost it a little bit <laughs> because yesterday was the day that I've been waiting for for a really long time just to find out what if you know this whole thing's been worth it all the the stress and the time and the money and the energy that my whole family has put into this I've came so far and I was this close to getting my answer and he said, I was, I was there. I mean, all they had to do was the scope and they wouldn't do it. The reason, okay, I'm just going to say it. The reason they wouldn't do it is because of the virus. Um, I have not had the vaccine. I am, like I said, currently in the middle of a drug trial. It's doing really weird things to my body. So no, I haven't been vaccinated. Um, they told me that I had to have a test within the last 72 hours. Nobody informed me that. So they're like, okay, like, you know, you had your COVID test, right? And I was like, no, I wasn't told that. And they're like, you weren't told that? I'm like, no, I wasn't informed of that at all. So then they tell me they can't do the test, even though I'm already in there. Like I'm already in, you know, I mean, I understand. I get it. Okay. But also, you know what I mean? That's something you should be told before I travel as far as I do and uproot everything like I had to. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that because, yeah, um, because this morning, so like, yeah, so like, anyway, I was going to say last night I filmed a video about it. It's 45 minutes long. I'm not going to upload that video. I don't even know if I'm going to watch it back. I cried through most of it cried myself to sleep <laughs> like it was an awful awful day all day yesterday because it was like said the day i've been looking forward to this whole entire time and then next week i was supposed to go and know that i'm getting drug and pray that i'm getting better <clears throat> so that happened go to sleep i wake up this morning go you know get ready take a shower brush my teeth brush my hair ha 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 just kidding um <laughs> get dressed. Ironically, this is the shirt that I had to wear home because like I said, we were staying. I had limited outfits. Doesn't matter. Would have worn this anyway. I'm just saying this is what I selected to wear on the way home. Just so happens. 
and stretchy pants, obviously, for comfort, you know, road trip comfort. So I have this shirt on, <laughs> wildly enough. And I sit down before we pack everything up and I look at my phone and I'm just like, what in the world? <laughs> like, I'm over a thousand. Oh my goodness gracious, because last night, whenever I went to bed, I was like eight people away from a thousand. And I was just like, eek, <laughs> okay, like, you know, maybe within a week I'll get over a thousand. That's so exciting. Okay, <laughs> so then I wake up, like I said, I'm looking and I'm just like, these are all so nice. Okay, that's so sweet. Thank you guys. Like all these just insanely sweet, like uplifting, inspirational comments. And I get on YouTube and of course, beautiful Miss Jennifer is on there. And I'm just like, well, it's, she's on there. It's not her. It's a picture of Bjorn. That's her thumbnail. So I'm just like, okay, you know, at per usual, click, because that's what I do in the mornings. I have like, you know, people in a certain order. So I happen she's like first one. Okay. So unless I'm, you know, up earlier than she uploads her video, but 99.9% .9 of the time. Okay. So I'm watching it once again in complete and total awe. Like <laughs> she's going to do this for me. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try really hard to keep it together. Like I said, I've cried for over 24 hours <laughs> at this point. Yesterday was sad tears. I was ready to quit the trial. I told them at one point, I was just like, take the IV out of my hand. I'm done. See ya. Done with your study. I'm out. Forget it. Because I'd finally made it to this point. Um, things went really bad after just, I don't want to, yeah, it wasn't good at all. And that's all I'm going to say because I'm not going to dwell on all of that. Um, so yeah, sad tears all day yesterday. This morning, however, I just keep reading comments from all of you and They all came on a day that I couldn't have needed them more. Um, I was honestly, I was ready to give up yesterday. It's just like, I'm not doing the drug trial. I'm not doing any of it anymore. I've put so much into this and so much. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. And I got to that point to where I was finally going to know. And said I told him I'm out and it was just like forget it like I'm I'm done I'm not doing this anymore like just I'm not and then all of that <laughs> your insanely sweet precious comments that were exactly what I needed at the exact time when I need them so you know when you pray real hard and then God's like, hey, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I've got this. The whole let go, let God thing. That's been my motto. Let go, let God. That's been my motto for a good 10 plus years. And lately it's been the whole like knock down nine times, get up 10 times. Like those are like my like, my mottos. It's what I like strive to remember constantly <clears throat> knock down get up so yesterday i was knocked down pretty hard and this morning all of you helped pick me up and i thank you because yesterday i really was ready to just not go through all this anymore not say like do anything you know but just not do the trial and not go to the doctors and not let them just torture me and not do it. And then this morning <laughs> it was like this a prayer answered. Um it was definitely 
exactly what I needed. Um, and trust me, my family is like so very supportive. Don't even get me wrong. Obviously, my husband, my kids, and my mom were like, you cannot, like, you've came so far. You have to go get your seventh treatment. You have to do it. And I was just like, what's the point, you know? So, like, through that and through of all days to get such a sweet and thoughtful pay it forward from Jennifer and her sweet, sweet words that mean so much to me. And those sweet, sweet words from all of you that commented. I'll be honest, it, it was like a okay, like, all right then, I can do it, you know, like, if there's a lot of people in my corner, <laughs> sometimes I feel real alone, and I'm not, um, and that's, that's amazing, <laughs> um, I don't know how I have tears left. I'll just be honest. Um, I mean, thank you. I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Those of you subscribed, thank you so much. I need you to know your comments meant so much more than you hitting that subscribe button. It helped me. It's just like, okay, <clears throat> I can do this. I can do it. So today's a Thursday, uh, September 1st. Tomorrow is a very, very big day around here. It's very exciting. So once again, thank you for lifting my spirits so that I'm not in a funky mood tomorrow because I need not be. <laughs> God's got this. So it's gotta be okay. <clears throat> So Monday, <clears throat> Monday is Labor Day. Um, at some point, I'm waiting for them to tell me where I need to go get a test. They told me a rapid test wouldn't, I don't even know. So I need to figure out where I need to go get a test. And then Tuesday, we will go back down there once again. Yay. And I will have my scope. And then I will get my treatment. And I wasn't going to do that <laughs> last night. But today's different. I got a bunch of comments that were saying today is the first day of the rest of your life. And it was just like, y'all have no idea. <laughs> it is. <laughs> This, I've mentioned before, is the only medication. Sorry if you can't understand me because I'm blubbering. I assure you I'm not blubbering nearly as much as I was in the 45 minute video. Um, that I'm not posting, so <laughs> that'll be good. Save myself a smidge of embarrassment. Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyway, I've mentioned before that this is the only drug. It's Lisa, not FDA approved. Um, I'm in a blind study. I will be in a blind study for the next year. It's 18 months total. Um, so for another year, I won't, I mean, I'll know for a year that I'm getting the medication, but for a year, I won't know any of my, like, they won't tell me blood results. They won't tell me results of scopes or anything at all like that. Um, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it's a lot to say the least. But I've came so far. I've been through so much to just like throw in the towel. My family, like not even for my own like self. Okay, sorry. Well, not sorry. My mama called and it was really nice to talk to her. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I watched this back to see where I was and I started bawling all over again. Fun. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> so, okay. Um. So yeah, it's like I was saying, so not even just for my own selfish reasons do, I mean, not, you know, that that would be like selfish of me to want to get better, but for my family. 
all of them. I need to get better. I have no choice but to get better. No other option. Um, they are, they're all my world, like all of my family, not just the people that live in this house. All of my family. And so that's what I need to, that's who I need to do it for. <coughs> Especially the four that live in this house. <laughs> so, <coughs> yeah. Um, so, okay. Anyway. So I'm blabbering on, but I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, I honestly, this would have meant so much. Like the day before yesterday, this would have been like just as amazing, just as awe-inspiring, just as cool <laughs> for this to have happened the day before yesterday. But the fact that it happened today, after such a rough day yesterday, for me to be able to smile at all, much less just be gleefully <laughs> ecstatic about something, is huge. And even as I talk, like recording this video right now like so just a second ago when I talked to my mom we talked about obviously what's happening okay that's well why is she called she was like uh oh my goodness I was like yeah I know right so anyway so yeah we talked about that and even then there was still just like sweet comments like we talked for a little bit and I look again more sweet comments just my cup runneth over y'all I mean of all days. I know it's gonna be okay. You're right. Those three little birds. All y'all that put the Bob Marleys <laughs> in my quotes. Um, I have a Bob Marley keychain that I carry all the time that my brother sent me. Or he didn't send it to me. He brought it to me from Jamaica. Brought it to the house. He didn't send it to me at all. But anyway. But yeah, like those three little birds at my doorstep. Every, every little thing. It's gonna be alright. So I know that now. There for like, you know, just a blip. I wondered. But I know. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. As hard as it is, it wouldn't be hard, you know, nothing nothing that's that's worth it is easy, right? Nothing that is gonna make that much of a difference. It can't it can't be easy. Um I just feel like I, w I wasn't supposed to have my scope yesterday and yesterday I kind of didn't look at it that way you know I was just upset of how everything turned the way everything turned out and today like I said I I'm looking at everything in a very positive way and I know that all those prayers are working and I was not supposed to have my scope yesterday and so I didn't and it's okay because I'll have it next week that's all right it's okay every little thing <laughs> it's gonna be all right that's so cool <laughs> so once again <laughs> to my dear Jennifer thank yous are not enough I could say thank you. I will <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. But I know that's not enough. You have no idea what you've done for me. Just this little blip. I know that you were looking at it as I'm not feeling well. This was an amazing pay it forward. And it is. It absolutely is. It's so much bigger than that. Like today is indeed the first day of the rest of my life. Today, indeed, I have like a brighter outlook. <laughs> and like she was mentioning in her video about her subscriber that goes back and just looks at those, those positive comments. That's gonna happen a lot. I need you guys to know that's gonna be like a few times a day. <laughs> And when I'm feeling at my lowest, I'm definitely going and reading the comments from all of you. 
and I will be re-watching Jennifer's video for sure. I watched it this morning by myself at the hotel while everyone else was like getting ready and packing and all of those things and then we all watched it together in the car <laughs> so turned it like on the sink thing had it up all loud she played through the speakers it was way cool and <laughs> so yeah so we all watched it together and there wasn't a dry eye in the house I'll just say <laughs> so kind of like now but you know fivefold so um, <clears throat> don't tell Derek I told you all that. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> so, oh goodness. Um, okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, just thank you guys for the absolute outpouring of love. I can't tell you how much. I mean, I keep trying to and I keep talking about it, but I, I can't tell you how much I needed it of all days. I've had a lot of rough days over the last little bit. Today was the day that I needed it the most. And thank you. I thank you. Um, so, okay. I'm going to let you guys go because once again, I just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm so happy. I, I sent the happy mail from Jennifer Wishes the other day, so I'm still like just in awe of that. And then today happened, and yeah, <laughs> um, it didn't get much cooler than this. I'm just gonna say it. I said last time that it was like you know, her happy mail was as cool as touching the Bob Dylan bus, and. <clears throat> like that this whole thing is a whole lot cooler than touching Bob Dylan's bus. Madonna told me that <laughs> she'd been on Bob Dylan's bus <laughs> to keep it real. I'm gonna say I'm keeping it real. I didn't get to meet Bob Dylan. I just touched his bumper. This is way cooler than touching Bob Dylan's bumper. So <laughs> like if I met Bob Dylan, perhaps I'd have a story to tell, but I'm not as cool as Madonna. I think we all know that. Not as cool as Jennifer. I think we all know that. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. Way cooler <laughs> than Bob Dylan's bus <laughs> by far. <laughs> so, I mean, I, yeah. It's just, it's a wild, wild thing what's happening right now. Thank you. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to go because I'm just going to continuously say thank you over and over unnecessarily. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right. So once again, of all days, how cool is that? That's pretty neat. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Like I've been wearing it. So I told Jennifer earlier. Like I just commented or whatever. But my kids were giggling at me yesterday because <clears throat> I'm using the bag as my purse, and I had this shirt, you know, suitcase, whatever. And anyways, and they're like, you just like. Like, do you think that your cinnamon stitches stuff's like Gucci now? Like, is it that fancy? And I'm like, heck yeah, it's that fancy. Like, get some cinnamon stitches slides. Like, it'd be good to go. <laughs> so anyway, forget Gucci slides. But yeah, it was hilarious. They're just like, oh, you're repping your cinnamon stitches merch. And I was like, yes, yes, I am. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> so we've been having a lot of fun with it too. So it's not just on here that I'm giddy. It's like through the whole house. Every now and then, like, said, my husband will just see my bag or my shirt, and he's like, how about that cinnamon stitches stuff? And I'm like, I know. And cool. So I've said that before, but it's still happening. So every time I get, yeah, like, use the purse or whatever, I'm like, just so anyway. And they're all like, <laughs> But they giggle. They, you know, we have fun with it. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So, yeah. <clears throat> still blathering on. <laughs> okay. Um. A lot of you are new. You don't know how much I ramble. <laughs> I hope you enjoy rambling because that happens here. So anyway, all right. Tip my hat one more time and just say thank you guys for all of your beyond comments that will definitely be reread over and over and over again so I can laugh and cry and smile over and over and over again. Happy tears and thank you 
precious Jennifer, from the very, very, very bottom of my heart, that's still not enough. <laughs> so, all right. So thank you guys for watching, especially if you watched any of it. You know what? If you've watched anything of mine, thank you. Usually that's what I say at the end of my crochet ramblings. Thank you if you watched the end of my crochet ramblings, but just thank you if you've watched it all. Thank you. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe and I will talk to you very soon.